North Moluccan Malay, also known as Ternate Malay, is a Malay-based Creole language spoken in Ternate, Tador and Halmahera Islands, North Maluku for intergroup communications, and in the Sula Islands. The local name of the language is Bahasa Pasar, and the name Ternate Malay is also used, after the main ethnic group speaking the language. Since North Moluccan Malay is used only for spoken communication, there is no standard orthography. While this creole resembles both Manado Malay and Papuan Malay, it differs significantly in lexicon and syntax. A large percentage of its vocabulary is borrowed from Ternatean, such as, Nana, U, S, G, Ingoni, U, Place, Biffy, Ant, and Siri, To Fall. Phonology Vowels the vowel system of North Moluccan Malay consists of five vowel phonemes and five diphthongs. The five diphthongs are i, a, ow, oi, and a. Consonants North Moluccan Malay has 18 consonants and two semivowels. Grammar Possession in Ternate Malay, words do not align its forms with its grammatical roles, therefore, the functions of words are often determined by linguistic context and non-linguistic situation. In this case, possessions are often used as a tool to determine the borders of constituents for the sake of successful interpretation of word meanings and functions. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 41. Generally, words in Ternate Malay are often constructed in head initial structure, except from the two possessive constructions, y pay x constructions and y x constructions, where words are constructed in head final structure. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 59. y pay x constructions. In the y pay x construction, the y element refers to the modifier possessor, while the x element refers to the head possessum. The possessor and possessum are connected by pay, in which the possessum expresses de facto a nominal meaning. In English, the y pay x constructions gives the meaning of y's x, and the x or y. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 59. According to Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 92, y pay x construction can express different meanings ranging from possession in animate subjects and inanimate subjects to non-possessive meanings. The examples below are extracted from Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 92-98, to illustrate situations when y pay x construction is used to express possessions. Non-human relationships X is part of Y. In example, one, tong pei kaki is a possessive construction where the possessor tong, the first person plural, are, is connected to the possessum kaki, leg, using pei. Together, the construction gives the meaning of our leg, in which the leg is a part of our body, demonstrating the relationship of X is part of Y. Example, one. Ka sana, dipoloso tong pei kaki. To their 3 sg squeeze 1 pita liter pos leg. When we go there, she massages our legs. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 3. X is a product of Y. In example, 2, alar pay bias is a possessive construction where the possessor alar snake is connected to the possessum bias venom using pay. Together, the construction means the snake's venom, in which the venom is produced by the snake, demonstrating the relationship of X as a product of Y. Example 2 Baru de buka alar pe bisa. Then 3 sg open snake pos poison. Then he takes out the snake's venom. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 94. X is a feature of Y. In example, 3, motor pay warna is a possessive construction where the possessor motor, motorcycle, is connected to the possessum warna, color, using pay. Together, the construction gives the meaning of the color of the motorcycle, in which the color is one of the features, such as shape, model, engine, dot etc., of the motorcycle, demonstrating the relationship of X as a feature of Y. 
Example 3 Motor Pei Warna Deng Dia Sama Motorcycle Pos Color and 3 SG Same The color of the motorcycle and him are the same Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 95 Human relationships Social relationship in example, 4, bank pay bani is a possessive construction where the possessor bank, bank employee, is connected to the possessum bani, wife, using pay. Together, the construction brings the meaning of the bank employee's wives, which expresses the social relationship between the humane animates. Example, 4 Kalo dong lia ibu ibu bank ka When three pita leaders see red mother bank or when they see bank employees or bank pay bani, orang orang di bank, bank pos wife red person in bank, the wives of bank employees, employees at the bank, Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 95. Kinship relationship in example, 5, Faden de Kaka is a possessive construction where the possessor Faden, a proper noun, is connected to the possessum Kaka, older sibling. Together, the construction gives the meaning of Faden's older brother, which expresses the kinship relationship between the two humane animates. Example, 5, Faden pay Kaka ni. Faden pos older dot sibling this. He's Faden's older brother. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 93. Time relationships Future relationship Example, 6, is about a story of how the speaker accidentally spilled hot oil on himself. In the possessive construction de pay beso, the possessor de third person singular refers to the day of incident, where the possessum beso tomorrow refers to the day after the incident. Future time relationship is shown between the day of incident and the day after the incident. Example 6 A. De pay beso ki de cage ne. EXCL 3 SG pos tomorrow 1 SG startled go up. G. The next morning I woke up in a shock. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 97. Past relationship. Example, 7, is about the journey of the speaker and his friends in an island where he heard a strange voice. In the possessive construction de pay calamaring malong, the possessor de third person singular refers to the moment when the speaker was talking, where the possessum calamaring malong yesterday night refers to the night before that moment, demonstrating past time relationship between the time when the speaker heard strange voice and the time he talked. Example 7 Baru de pay calamaring malong 2 Moreover 3 sg pos yesterday night that Moreover, last night, Kita Ada Dengar Arang Pei Suara. 1 SG exist here person pos voice. I heard someone's voice. Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 97. Human quality. Quality. In example, 8, de pay bay is a possessive expression where the possessor de third person singular, his is connected to the possessum bay kindness with pay. The expression has the meaning of his kindness, demonstrating a quality of the humane subject. This relationship is similar to X as a feature of Y which was demonstrated earlier, where example 8 refers to an animate and example 3 refers to an inanimate. Example 8. Kita Inga de Pei Bay Scali 1 SG Remember 3 SG Pos Good Very I always remember his kindness 
Litamahaputi, 2012, pp. 98. From the above examples, it can be seen that wide ranges of possessions, including possessions in human, animals, objects, or even abstract items like time, can be demonstrated from the Y pay X constructions. As mentioned earlier, word functions in Ternate Malay are often determined from contexts rather than word forms. Therefore, not all Y pay X constructions show possessive meanings. The examples below demonstrate situations where Y pay X construction is used to express meanings other than possession, for example, to express evaluative meanings or additional information. Litamahapati, 2012, pp. 99-102. When the possessum X denotes a quality with exclamative markers, it has an evaluative meaning rather than a possessive meaning. In example, 9, the Y element in the Y pay X construction, nana pay caput, is nana, which refers to second person singular, and the X element is kappa, which refers to fast. Since the sentence is expressed in exclamative intonations, which can be shown from the exclamation mark used at the end of the sentence and the use of ih, the exclamative expression, the construction has the evaluative meaning of how fast you are, rather than a possessive meaning of referring the quality of fastness to the subject. Example, 9 I-H, Anwar, Nana Pay Capit E-X-C-L Anwar 2-S-G Pos Fast G, Anwar, You're Fast Litamahapati, 2012, pp. 99 when the possessum X denotes an action or activity, it supplies additional information to the action or activity rather than showing possessions. In example 10, the Y element in the Y pay X construction, pay to a pay kuchi balangang, is pay to a, which refers to old man, and the X element is kuchi balangan, which refers to to wash a walk. The example provided extra information on what surprised the speaker rather than showing possession between the old man and his way of washing a walk. Example 10 Pay to a pay kuchi balangang kita harang. Old dot man pos wash walk 1 sg surprised. The way he washed the walk surprised me. Litamahapati, 2012, pp. 100. Yx constructions In the Yx construction, the Y element refers to the modifier, possessor, which is often a personal pronoun or a kinship term, and the X element refers to the head, possessum, which is often a thing word. The construction also has a meaning of Y's X, and the X or Y in English, Litamahapati, 2012, pp. 102. The examples below are extracted from Litamahapati, 2012, pp. 103-104, which demonstrated the use of element Y as a personal pronoun and kinship term in YX constructions. Possessor Y as a personal pronoun Example 11 has demonstrated the use of YX construction with element Y as a personal pronoun, where the possessor dong refers to third person plural and the possessum peru refers to boat. Together, it has the meaning of their boat. Example 11 I kang bawa dong peru. Fish bring three pita liters boat. A fish is pulling their boat. Litamahapati, 2012, pp. 104. Possessor Y is a kinship term. Example 12 has demonstrated the use of YX construction with element Y as a kinship term, where the possessor tet refers to grandfather and the possessum papa refers to father. Together, the expression has the meaning of the grandfather's father, demonstrating the kinship relationship. Example 12. Tet Papa Orang Ternate Grandfather Father Person Ternate My Grandfather's Father is a Person from Ternate Litamahapati, 2012, pp. 103 Personal Pronouns Personal pronouns in North Moluccan Malay only distinguish between person first, second and third person and number, singular and plural. 
Some pronouns can also be used to show respect to other speakers. Politeness The use of the first person singular pronouns kita and saya is dependent on the speech situation. Kita is used when talking to others of the same or lower age, rank or status. On the other hand, saya is used in more formal situations or when conversing with someone with a higher rank or status, to show respect to the other person. The second person singular and plural pronouns, nana and ingoni also share a similar distinction. Nana is used to refer to an addressee if they have the same or lower age, rank or status. Otherwise speakers may use personal names or kinship terms to refer to the addressee. Alternatively, the plural second person pronoun ingoni can occasionally be used to refer to a single addressee respectfully, although it is typically reserved for addressing a group of people. These distinctions are demonstrated in example 1, where the speaker telling his friends of a situation where he explains to a woman that he does not want to accept money for helping to carry her shopping onto the bus. Since he is talking to his friends he refers to himself as Kita, but because he is not familiar with the woman he uses the more respectful Saya to refer to himself and Ngoni to address her. Full and shortened forms For pronouns with a full and shortened form, the two forms may be used interchangeably in most contexts. However, following the conjunction deng or prepositions such as di, ka, dari or pa, only the full form may be used. This is seen in example 2, where the short form de is used except following the preposition pa, where the full forms dia and toring appear instead. In addition, the shortened forms do not appear post-verbally, i.e. after predicates. Hence in the following example tong cannot appear after the verb bunu. Kill. Only the full form toring is allowed. It should be noted that the full form of the first person plural pronoun toring is actually a shortening of kitorang which is sometimes used by older speakers however younger speakers rarely use this form. The only exceptions to the two restrictions mentioned above is when the pronoun is part of a y pay x possessive construction in which case the shortened form may be used as the possessor y example 4 shows a possessive y pay x construction containing the first person plural short form pronoun dong occurring after a preposition pa. Similarly, example 5 shows the third person singular short form pronoun de occurring after the verb iko. Follow. Also as part of a y pay x possessive construction. This contrasts with the use of the full form dia after the second instance of iko, where the pronoun is no longer part of a possessive construction. References <laughs>